it. And I'm gonna really super gently go in and remove any little crusty molesty she might have on her nail. Being really careful around her boo-boo, okay you guys? And we just wanna really gently remove the shine off her natural nail without damaging her nail. Just really gently, at a slow speed with your drill, okay? We just want to really gently cleanse the nail and remove any product or any old nail she might have on, just like that. And then I'm gonna remove the dust. And then I'm gonna apply one coat of nail prep and one coat of primer. So what the nail prep does is it balances out the pH and it um, dehydrates the nail bed and then the primer is what makes it stick like crazy, okay? Just like that. And then another little trick you can do too is that instead of, if you don't have a nail drill and you want to etch the inside of the one, two, three, go, you can actually go in with the primer, you guys, and really like go in there and like kind of like rub the brush against the nail. And this will actually melt the nail just enough so that we, if you don't have a nail drill, you can actually get away with this technique. And that will actually kind of melt a little bit of the one, two, three, go inside. So that way you don't have to etch the inside of the nail. So you're gonna let that dry and then you're gonna go in with base gel apply a nice even layer over the whole nail and you guys know that we make the be best face gel in the world of course all of our products are made here in the u.s so i want to thank you guys for supporting american companies and american manufacturing and then wherever i need a little bit more base gel, just go in with the tip and build up her nail so that way it looks really smooth and seamless just like that beautiful and then i'm going to bake this for one minute while that's baking you would actually put the primer inside on the nail and you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it kind of does make it like a little bit tacky. So that way you don't have to file the inside of the nail. And I'm going to use the 123 Go full coverage pre-made gel nails in oval today. And I'm going to apply them with the base gel because it's so fast and easy like this too. If you're doing it on yourself, I would probably use um, Happy Gel because Happy Gel is a little bit thicker. So that way you have um, the nail not move around as much. But since we're doing it on a model today, I'm going to use base gel and then I'm going to use a flashing lamp and freeze it in place. And I want to let you guys know that the flashing lamps are back in stock now. If you had a flashing lamp on bank order, she is shipping to you in the next two days. And thank you guys so much for waiting. We appreciate your patience so much here at enolcouture.com. Don't we, Marissa? Yes. Because it has been crazy. This growing pain, you guys, is incredible. So I'm going to take base gel. I'm going to apply it to the inside of the nail, a nice dollop, and apply it thicker in the middle of the nail and thinner on the sides and at the cuticle. Thicker in the middle, just like you were sculpting out a real nail, just like that, okay? This base gel is no joke. Uh, later in another video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fill them. Marissa has had hers on for six weeks. We did a wear test. I just wanna show you guys, look at that. She broke this one in a car seat, but look at that, they are, they look perfect. So you're gonna rock it on into place. Keep the one, two, three go about one tenth away from the cuticle. Press down firmly like that. And then take your flashy lamp freeze so that way that nail don't go anywhere and then we're going to do the top of the nail to press down firmly so that way we get out any bubbles look at that you guys seamlessness look at that how blended for filth it is and now i'm going to cure it for one minute inside the darling lamp and what this is going to do is it's gonna bond both layers of gel. So it's gonna bond the layer on her natural nail, the layer of base gel on the one, two, three, go, and the one, two, three, go. So it's gonna sandwich them all together, melt them together, fuse them, and create an indestructible nail. But remember, instead of using base gel to adhere them, you can use happy gel as well, or you can use souffle, or you can even use acrylic. It's really up to you. That's what's so great about our system, is that you can really customize it and tailor it to your needs as an artist. And the most important part is have fun. And you guys know that enocouture.com products are all made here in America by American, but American companies and American manufacturing. And do you feel any heat or any uncomfort or anything like that? No? Not at all. Not at all. I'm a little worried just because I'm not bleeding. On her boob, but as you guys can see, she's not bleeding or anything. So this is great. Uh, this is a great way. This is a great technique that we're doing right now to how to salvage damaged nails. So it's done baking for a minute. Look at that, you guys. You can see I'm pressing hard and the nail is not bending. It is blended beautifully. And all we have to do now is really, really gently tailor it so that way it fits seamless. So I'm just gonna go in with my file really gently and just really, really gently file the side, file the side. And then I'm gonna cut the nail down super short because Marissa doesn't like long nails. 
So I'm going to use my, let's see which bit. Let's use the golden smooth top barrel. I'm gonna cut the nail down super short because she doesn't like long nails, unfortunately. I can't work with them. She can't work with them. But this is a great way to show how to customize it to a shorter length. I'm going in with the golden smooth top barrel. Take down the length just a little bit. How's that length? Okay. We have a little bit actually. Okay, well I'm gonna file it just a little bit shorter. You guys can tell I'm fighting for the long nail. <laughs> but she's gotta be able to function too. We never filled them, but we're gonna fill them in another video. So you guys stay tuned for that one. Look at that, beautiful. And now let's go in with the smoothie buffer. You don't even have to blend in the cuticle because the cuticle is already blended for fill. Really important, remove the shine so that way everything sticks beautifully. Go in with the smoothie wherever you filed it as well too. Make sure everything's nice and even. How does it feel now? Good. Like super secure, right? It feels much stronger. Yeah, so this is a great way to how to like rehabilitate the natural nail and um, make it stronger, let it grow out too. Like if your client has like a broken nail or whatever, you can do this technique and then in, um, after like two weeks, you can soak off the nail and her nail will be like in perfect state as well. Look at that, you guys. She is blended for filth. Beautiful. And then I'm going to go in with a beautiful gold color today. I'm going to use BB Ombre Gel number 10, which is like a really pretty, like a rose gold color. Make sure there's no dust on the nail. Never cleanse the nail when using any of our gels, okay? You guys, that's really important because that will cause them to lift. And this is a one coat glitter color. So I'm going to pick up a nice dollop, place it right at the cuticle, push the color up, and then down, up, and then down. So if you wear short little baby woman nails, this is a great way to get beautiful full coverage glitter on. Look at that color you guys, she has everything. And then push the glitter towards the center, so that way it stays nice and in place. Look at that color, she has everything. And a bag of chips. I'm going to freeze that for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to seal the nail today just with Wonder Gel, because Wonder Gel is actually a stain resistant and scratch resistant top coat and it's thicker than shiny this is also really great for hairdressers or people that use colored shampoo like for example me i'm like super ash blonde so i use blue and purple shampoo and my nails do not stain my hands look like a smurf but the nails stay intact so right now what we're doing is we're freezing the color and then we're going to seal with one coat of wonder gel and wonder gel is also no wipe look at that you guys and then we're going to go in push up against the cuticle down Side and this side as well. Feel the edges. And feel the little excess. Now we're going to cure this for one minute and then seal it with cotton candy cuticle oil. Beautiful. So let's check that out. We're going to bake it and I'll see you guys in the next one. So now you guys know how to repair a nail using the